Welcome, watchers of illusion, to my castle of confusion. It's the 31st of May, and it's my birthday. Hooray! Yes, indeed. 46 today, and uh, feeling feeling no older than 16 in my head. But you know what? That's a good thing. Um, so today, looking at Bubble and Squeak on the Amiga 1200. Yes, this is an AGA version of this game. Uh, also released on the CD32. Um, and the Mega Drive, I believe. Now... I've not played this before, but I've, apparently it's very good. So we're going to get stuck into it straight away. I really like the presentation of that start screen, by the way. And uh, just before we start, remember, if you do enjoy my content, do like, share, and subscribe. But thank you very much indeed to everybody that's done that already. Uh, you guys are superstars. Now, this is very cute, isn't it? Absolutely love the presentation on this game already. Very cutesy, but I think that's the point. Um, from what I gather... Uh, this is kind of like head over heels, uh, so there's two of you and you have to play to each other's strengths and weaknesses, I think. I could be way off base, but uh, as we haven't even found the other guy yet, it's all—it's already sort of mirroring that, isn't it? But uh, that's not a bad thing, because Head Over and Heels was a good game as well. But uh, yeah, this is very pretty, very pretty indeed. You can see where the AGA chip has come in, very handy. The, uh, the colours on screen are, are fantastic. Look at the scrolling as well. There's some really, really pretty backdrops in this as well, from what I can see, which is right, just right up our alley, isn't it, retro chums? Yes, um... Yeah, so yeah, my birthday, 46 years young. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to thank you in advance for any birthday wishes. Thanks very much. I've been to see the new Top Gun film today, uh, courtesy of my other half, and it was awesome. So if you haven't seen the uh, the new Top Gun Maverick movie and you're wondering whether or not you should go, you should definitely go. Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> back to this game. So the main character there is Bubble, I believe, and uh, we need to find Squeak. Now, the idea is basically to get from one end of the map to the other, where both of you, well, well both of you get into the exit, I think, uh, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge as and when we come to it. Now, you do have unlimited ammunition, which is nice, so you can chuck those stars around all day long. <clears throat> now, I don't know if it's my joypad, so I'm gonna I'm gonna apologise now. Um, but sometimes it doesn't want to jump. But we'll cover that in a minute because we're going on to controls shortly. Um, all the bad guys are really cute as well. You've got these little worms squiggling around, and it just seems such a shame to kill them. But uh, you know that is uh, that is part of the game, unfortunately. And they drop money, so you know it's not wasted. Uh, worms that drop money <laughs> just gets weirder and weirder. This retro lark, doesn't it? Um, and look, little caterpillars! Oh, they drop coins as well. So everything basically must die. Um, but yeah, it's very well presented. Really like that. The animation is really cutesy as well. So, um, I don't know. Let, let me know. Have you played this game? Have you? Uh, did you? Did you have this back in the day? Even more so. Did you have this on the Amiga? Did you have it on the CD32? Or did you have it on the Mega Drive? Did you complete it? Did you do anything? Did you even know this game existed? Let me know in the comments. You know. Oh, here's our friend. This is Squeak, the blue alien cat-looking creature. Right. So the way that you control him is fairly simple. You can um, you can tell him to do certain things uh, with sort of a command menu. Well, it's not menu, but you hold down the fire button and you can tell him to stay where he is or you can tell him to come with you, that kind of thing. A bit like Abe's Odyssey, if you like. Um, but obviously, this was way before Abe even came into existence. Oh, look at those guys. They actually punch your stars back with their baseball bats. Amazing. Well, little ducks or something. Well, I love the actual the, the design of the game. It's very cool. Reminds me a little bit of uh, James Pond Three and uh, Operation Starfish, um, just graphically, really. But uh, that's not a bad thing because that was a cracking game as well. So I don't know if there's a number of gems that you have to collect to complete the level, or whether you just have to get to the exit with your little blue friend here. Um, now I do believe you can jump on his head, and oh yeah, you can get him to chuck you up into the air. Now. The one thing about Squeak is that he's not as fast as you are, and he can't jump quite as high as you. So the challenge is going to be, I think, getting him up here to this little exit point, because it's not letting me do anything with it, even with the action button held down. It's not letting me do anything. Now, this can be played on a one-button joystick um, uh, for the Amiga, or you can play it on a two-button, or you can use a CD32 pad if you wish. Um, it works for me. I'm using a two-button joystick here, or a gamepad, as it were. Um, but 
it's the jumps are a little bit finicky. I don't know whether it's me or whether it's the pad or whether it's just just the game doesn't register jumps at certain points on a platform. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to forgive that because it's really quite good fun so far. <clears throat> Very polished game, this. Very polished indeed. I love the fact that you can get him to chuck you up into the air as well. That's quite cool. Um, very simplistic in the way that you get him to move around. Uh, you have no control over Squeak whatsoever. He just follows you around blindly. Um, the Fool, because it's me playing, and he obviously... Yeah, here we go. So he, he'll only follow you, um, like, literally where you are on the screen. So if he falls below a platform... Oh, that's cute. I like that. Look, they're shaking hands. Oh, oh that's really good. Um, but yeah, if you, fall, if you fall underneath... a If he falls underneath a platform and you carry on walking above him, he'll just follow you underneath the platform. He doesn't make any attempts to try and climb up to get to you. So you have to go back and collect him. Now, this is nice. Nice. I think this is a bonus stage. I think this is a... Uh, yeah... I think you get these little submarine icons. I think I picked one up earlier on in the level. I think that's like you get that as a bonus. Um, and then you get to shoot all these guys for, I don't know, you don't get, seem to get any money from it. But um, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Maybe it's a point thing. Maybe you've got to score points. And oh, oh, I got shot by Octopus Inc. Delightful. But yeah. Nice to have the little inter inter level uh, bonuses there. That's quite cool. So um, looks like I've got to. Oh, I can get up there. Right. Okay. So I need to get this pot over there. Right. Oh, I can pick it up. Hey, there we go. Comedy ensues as I take the form of a pot, and then jump on Squeak's head because why not? Um, but yeah, it's it's very nice, and this is going to appeal to quite a lot of gamers of all ages, which is going to be great. Uh, for you advanced players, there is definitely challenge here. And for you younger players, obviously, you know, look at it. It's it's just got that beautiful, like, cartoony uh, look to it, which is... Oh, God. This is going to be where I start to get irritated, isn't it? Um, trying to get him on this sodding platform. Come on. That's it. Now, I'm going to jump up. Jump up. The, what is he, why are you jumping, you... Foolish blue creature. Oh, he missed the ledge. Great. Well, I'm just going to go on without him, I think, for a minute um, and see how we get on because I'm not sure I need him up here, actually. Maybe I do. Oh, look at him, the plum. Stop jumping around down there. Anyway, so, yeah, it's going to appeal to the younger audience just based on the graphics alone. Uh, might, they might need a little bit of help uh, towards these kind of sections. I'm only on level two, and already it's kind of... Well, it's... It's um, it's it's very very tricky. This it's it, trying to get him to do what you want him to do is very difficult. Um, so that I say is probably going to be one of the little downfalls of the game. But so far, it's it's a really stunning game to play. Really like this. It's, there's no health bars. Uh, you get seven lives, uh, or is that eight hearts? Do you get hit points? I don't know. Oh, must be, uh, that's uh, must be it. You see, um, two lives, eight hits you can take eight hits there's a high score in the top middle how many gems you collected how many coins and there's the little submarine icon and there's the submarine itself let's pick that up so it highlights and then uh, we're gonna get hit like ah yes it is it is the, the the hearts are how many hits you can take and i've just taken two in a row yes um but this is what the amiga was good at it was kind of these these platform games with no slowdown and stuff like that it's very very good a lot of good fun on this and uh, i've got to get that blue git up here haven't i Oh, God. Right. So my challenge now is to get uh, Squeak to come all the way up to the top. And I don't even know how I'm going to even start to do that. But uh, we will we will get there in a minute. Hopefully. If not, then I hope you guys can have a go and, have, and see if you can get it done. Oh, and there's platforms there that don't actually resemble platforms. Or there's platforms that should be platforms, but they're not platforms, so you fall through them. Excellent. Um... But I can't, I can't get myself cross with this game. It's, it's very, very well put together. It's a very well designed game, and it's very, it's fun. As, and there's, an, there's a certain amount of addictiveness to this, uh, which could be my downfall. So if I carry on playing this, and you never hear from me again, then that's why, because I've, I've put myself into a bubble and squeak coma, which actually sounds quite tasty, doesn't it? For those of you not familiar, bubble and squeak is actually a, a, a dish that you can, that you can eat. It's a, I think it's is it potatoes and it's some grim concoction, but it tastes all right because it's got cheese in it. So there you go. Um, anyway, 
so sound is very good you got this really really good soundtrack going through the game now the only thing that irritates me slightly is Squ is um, bubbles voice uh that does will, will grate on you just a little bit if you have to use it too much um so when he tells squeak to wait and stuff like that that's probably going to get old quite quickly but that's a minor niggle a minor niggle the music's excellent as you can hear in the background and once i've actually done the review i will leave it to run for a, a couple of minutes so that you can actually hear it for yourself with the volume pumped up just a little bit and uh yeah hopefully you'll enjoy that but yeah sound and music sound and music brilliant and you get both at the same time which sometimes has been a bit of a chore for the amiga uh, sometimes it's one or the other but it's always good to have both as an option um so yes very very nicely done Animation wise, fantastic. The graphics are really nicely done. Level design's nice. The only gripe I've got so far is trying to get that little blue git to follow you to the top. But we will try and persevere with it. Let's see how we get on. I'm sure there must be a way of doing it. Look at those caterpillars just waiting to be shot. Um, <laughs> yes, here we go. One, two, and three. And lots of coins. Yum, yum, yum. And more, more gems. Now, gems just seem to be points. I don't think there's any actual use for them. Uh, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, but at the moment, they just look like... And I said pants then. Points fodder. So... Uh, that's the uh, the fun thing now trying to get this guy to come all the way up here so playability wise very playable indeed and I think you will enjoy it um, and replay value well I think if you're a completionist you are going to come back to it again and again because why not it's one of those games that well, oh he stayed on the platform that time excellent so let's see if you're what the Okay, I think I just kicked him across the platform then. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, I just kicked him again, straight in the nuts. Um, so, sorry, Squeak, but uh, you're not having any kids anytime soon. Um, yeah, getting him across these platforms is a little... Oh, I've done it again. I don't even know why I'm booting him. Anyway, um, so age range, pretty much any. It's going to appeal to a lot of different um, game audiences just due to the sort of complexity of it all, the, the puzzle-solving element, the platforming element. There's something here for everybody, so... Give it a go. If you've not played this game before and you think, oh, that looks actually pretty good, we'll give it a go, then um, by all means, do so. Uh, this is quite readily available, either on the interwebs or on eBay, if you fancy getting yourself a physical copy. But you can get the download version of this as well. Just have to know where to look, which I can't tell you because that would be naughty. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a great game and really, really nicely done. Um, scored quite highly in uh, Amiga game magazines as well. This git just does not want to actually get on the platform that I'm trying to jump on, is he? He hates that platform he, with a passion. As soon as I get him where I want him to be, let's let's try again. My, my patience is waning, but I, it's... Come on, you... Oh, for... F okay. Come on. Stay with me, blue guy. Stay with... Wait, what the... Why? Right, this is frustrating. So, I don't... Oh my god. Get on the platform and stay with me. Right, let's try again. Up we go. Oh, hey, we got there in the end. Right, how am I supposed to get him up there? Oh, right, so he doesn't... Right. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? I don't even know where he's gone now. <laughs> oh, the little blue man, you are the bane of my existence. But there we go. Oh, we've picked up some extra yummies anyway, so that's a good thing. Let's oh, see that uh, again. But the jump didn't want to function then. Oh, he's back, back where we started. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Come on, this way. Over we go. Come on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Bubble and Squeak on the Amiga 1200. I've, I've been Rich. This has been the Retro Revival Show on May 31st. Again, my birthday, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and uh, I will be replying to you all in due course. So thanks very much for tuning in. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Again, you guys are amazing. Thank you ever so much for following my channel and I'll be back very soon with another fantastic game for you to check out. And until then, my friends, it's bye for now. Ta-da!